Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. On this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to re-register Microsoft Store app in Windows 10. Now this happens when people are technically trying to go to the Microsoft Store right here and it does not want to load up. It simply just comes up and crashes or they click something and it gets a glitch. And it seems that this problem happens pretty often on people like this. Now, this can happen sometimes on just current user that you have there or it can happen to multiple users. But most of the time when I do this, I teach this this script right here for it to apply to all users but regardless just go, we're going to just pretty much show you how to do this on but I'll give you the links for pretty much for both of them so it won't really matter so first thing you do you can pretty much go to the start menu and right click on it and select Windows PowerShell with admin yes for this you would probably need to have admin level for this to work if I'm correctly now technically you'll bring up this system and you'll probably be prompted. Go ahead and press yes. But it seems people always get confused when you go to this, they go to start menu and they may not see the Windows PowerShell. They might have the command prompt. So in case if you don't see it there, you can go to start menu and pretty much on the search bar, you can just type in Windows um, PowerShell. I just typed in Windows and started coming up. And this is where it's at. Again, you would have to be sure that you are going to run as administrator. So right click on it, right click on the mouse and press run as administrator. And you'll probably be prompted, go ahead and press yes. And this is what you're going to see. I don't need it pretty much full screen. I'll leave it like this. Now, pretty much this first script that I'm going to be showing you is going to be the one that would be pasted on here. This is ha this literally, I'm going to give you the links for the shortcut for this. It would need, has to be perfect. One simple space or something off can cause this whole problem. And you see this word right here says all users. That pretty much does apply for it to do it for all users. Now, if you don't really care about that option from all users, um, you don't pretty, I'll show you the second one option for this. We'll press apply and let it do its work. And it was pretty much that simple. Now in case, again, I'm gonna show you the version that's a slightly different for the current user. I'm gonna paste this pretty much the same difference. There's not that much, it changes like a slightly different. And we're gonna type in the same command and it's done. And after done doing that, you would probably need to restart your computer and you should be able for the pretty much the Microsoft Store to start coming back up. It's pretty much it gets off registered and just has this problem. But that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.